Hello and welcome to a new series focusing on the Eagle Rising mod. So this has been highly requested over, I don't even know how many weeks slash months, but yes, we are finally playing it. And unfortunately, I just have to say, it is not yet finished. So do bear that in mind when you see the mod, it is not yet done. They have a number of factions that are complete and that uh, may need just minor tweaking here or there, but a couple of the other factions have not yet been implemented into the game. If you would like to check out Eagle Rising, there is a link in the description to download it, and we're going to be playing as Empire. Oh yes, we're going to be playing as Empire, because of course we are. Here's the thing, in the Empire, or should we say in Eagle Rising, the Empire has been renamed to the Imperium, and they have a lot of Roman-styled troops and really cool things like that. So that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, so what we're going to do is literally just play with this guy. This guy looks kind of Roman-esque already, to be honest. And now here's the thing. As soon as we get our character to be shown here in the character creation, it's going to take a little bit of time to load the character's models. So my goal for this series is going to be... Mm, I'm going to try to unite the Imperium under one banner, if I can do that, right? That's, that's kind of my initial thought on what we can do here. And we're going to try to use any means necessary to be able to get that to happen. So let's see how that goes. If you have any suggestions about what we should do in the series, then by all means, leave them down below. And otherwise, let's have a look here. Okay, so what do I want to use? Well, I probably want to use a crossbow. But I also kind of think, well, maybe I should use a polearm as well. I'm, I mean, obviously, Imperium, yeah, maybe, maybe it would make sense. I'm actually not entirely sure. Uh, Two-handed, certainly not. We're not going to do that. But definitely, maybe, maybe uh, leadership and tactics. That sounds about right. Two-handed and smithing, no. Medicine, scouting, bow and tactics, no. That's not going to work. Uh, trade and charm might be pretty good. But yeah, here you go. These are the custom models. Now look at how look at how crazy high quality these look. It's really really good. And let's have a look. Crossbow and engineering. Yeah, I will do that. And then what what else do we want to go for here? I'm thinking maybe hunted a dangerous animal because you could see here this is polearm and crossbow and generally I'm not really I don't know whether I'm really going to be using a polearm a huge amount but I know I know I definitely want to use a crossbow because there are Imperium units that use crossbows and I thought to myself well that seems pretty thematic then doesn't it so I guess we'll go for something like that and because we are playing in sandbox mode we have the ability to choose our age now, here's the thing. I'm actually wondering whether we should start at the highest possible age of 50. Because, and this is, a, maybe this is a bit, a bit more of a sort of risky option. I mean, I know it is because obviously, you know, death and birth is going to be enabled. So what about this? This is a bit of an idea. Obviously, if you don't like this idea and if the uh, you know overwhelming majority goes, oh, you know what, that that sucks, you know, that's a, that's a bad idea, then I can always change it with detailed character creation. Obviously, we're going to get a bit of an advantage then as a result because we have the extra skill points and focus points and so on and so forth. But anyway, the point is we are closer to old age and as a result, closer to natural death. So... In actuality, that is providing a much bigger risk to our own character and to our own success than you would otherwise think. So I think we're actually going to go for age 50. This is going to be kind of interesting, in my opinion at least. And let's let's pick something... Uh, yeah, okay. I'm, I don't really want to say what kind of theme I'm going to go for for the banner because I always get criticized for this. No matter what I do, it's literally like, you know, if I say... I'm going to pick a heart, a heart a heart symbol and then I pick a heart symbol and then someone goes that's not a heart symbol that's an upside down tetrahedron dodecahedron bird type dragon you know that's the kind of thing I'm talking about anyway <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing around anyway we're going to select a a bird of some kind I suppose so what about this one does this look cool I don't know whether any of these look cool to be honest 
Mm, I mean, they all look cool, that's the point, but do they look like they suit what we're currently... Okay, this is perfect. Here we go. That is absolutely perfect, right there. That is exactly what I want. And we're going to go for red. Should we go for red or should we go for purple or something like that? Hmm, we can't really go for purple. There doesn't seem to be a purple. So I guess we'll go for a deep, dark crimson. Select your family name. Well, obviously it's going to be the same thing as we always choose. Fur <laughs> Furious. Oh yeah, yeah, that was actually a really funny, in my test character, because usually what I always do when I create these new series, I create a test character just to make sure that everything is loaded up properly and make sure that I'm not crashing immediately upon entering into the game. And my name, my uh, auto-generated name, was literally this. Spendius. And I thought to myself, that is hilarious. Because just imagine you choose uh, your perks and you create kind of like a trading character. And you think to yourself, oh, Spendius, that sounds like a great name. Because he's obviously going to spend a huge amount of money to make more money. And uh, yeah, so Spendius is very, very in keeping with a merchant a merchant character, but obviously that's not what we're going to be playing for here. So let me see, what do I want to go for? Uh, not, not Byron, not Bruce. All right, so I found a name from my memory banks. Yes, I had to deep very, uh, I had to dig very deeply, should I say. And uh, Borgar, if you remember Borgar from one of my Warband series, then... Bravo, bravo. It was, it's been a very long time since we've had a Borgar, I believe. Anyway, we're going to be playing on Bannerlord here. And that is just, that's it. That's it. We're just going to be playing on Bannerlord. I'm not going to be changing the player received damage this time around. Because usually what I like to do is when we first start off, I like to play at 50% because it just makes everything so much simpler. Because in the initial starter battles, one wrong move and you just get murdered instantly. Because your armor is really bad and you're just going to get instantly killed. Um, but I am not going to be changing that this time around. We have birth and death enabled, auto allocate clan member perks. And I think due to crashes, I don't really want to put on Iron Man mode just in case. So we're otherwise going to leave everything on the highest possible setting. And now let's begin. All right. So we start at Denustica, if you can believe it. And we have now gained many, many levels, as you might expect. And uh, as you might also expect, this is the map. It is very, very similar to what you are used to. But of course, there are a number of changes. You can see here very specifically, for example, these guys, the Northern Imperium. They seem to have uh, a similar color to the Batanians, which is uh, kind of interesting. But um, yeah, so there's a little bit of a difference there. And we also have an, a different culture over here. Instead of the Kuzate, we have the Saka. And uh, then who else do we have? Yeah, Sturgia hasn't been changed as far as I'm aware. And then obviously you have the Western Imperium. I don't think the Azari have been changed. No, they haven't been changed yet. I think the Vlandians have been changed. Yeah, they are the Dryatic culture now as well. And um, yeah, so basically the whole sort of middle section of the map has been changed with the exception of the Azari and the Sturgeons. They have not been changed one bit. So do bear that in mind if you download the mod. I would highly recommend it anyway because from what I've seen so far everything is very faithfully represented in the game and um, yeah I mean you can just you could plainly see exactly what's going on here with these kinds of weapons as well. I personally feel like this is super nice just literally having I mean look at this they literally give me one already look at that. Oh it's a thrust only weapon is it? Is it literally a thrust only weapon? I mean, it says it has swing damage, but it says thrust only. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. I, I, I might be in for some problems. <laughs> I might be in for some very, very big problems. Okay, well, whatever the case, as I said before, my first initial, mm, shall we say goal, is to unite the entire Imperium. So every single Imperium is going to be under one banner, which is obviously my banner. And we will attempt to do that as best we can. Obviously, it is... Uh, I don't know how 
how effective that is going to be, obviously, because I haven't really, um, I haven't played Eagle Rising before, so this is going to be very interesting. Anyway, hello there, Mountain Bandits. We're going to die. What do you bet? What do you bet I'm going to die almost instantly? Uh, yes, it's going to be one of those classics, isn't it? Where we go into the first fight of the series. This, this usually happens to me. Oh, yes, I'm very, very much used to this, where I go into the first fight... I expect great things from my units. They run in, they get their heads bashed in, and then I follow suit very quickly afterwards. All right, so here we go. We have now loaded into the battle. It actually took a little bit of time to load. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but yeah, it did take quite some time. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no, oh yes, I'm playing a character that doesn't have any skills whatsoever and it's going to be very difficult for me to make this work. But I do have 40 bolts. That is actually something to be very, very pleased about. And I'm going to try and take this guy's horse out because that's going to be the main the main problem. There we go. Okay, his horse has been eliminated. Very nice. And thankfully I do have a crossbow that is capable of being used on horseback. Uh, th this is going to be... Oh, nice headshot! Nice headshot, sir. Very good. Okay, now let me just see if I can eliminate the other horse as well. Or I could just eliminate the rider, but the rider has a shield, quite clearly, and it's very difficult to eliminate. Uh, yeah, my guys are going to get absolutely... Oh, never mind! He murdered that guy without any difficulties whatsoever. I'm very pleased about that. Okay, he did a great job. Unfortunately, he is now being murdered in cold blood, which is, as you might expect, not particularly good. But we are actually getting headshots. I am very pleased about this. Although I am not pleased that I am by myself now, and rocks are basically my only nemesis at this point. Oh no, my mount took massive damage. Why did my mount take massive damage? What, what actually hit it? It must be a thrown weapon or something. Take out the horse? Oh no, I didn't take out the horse. Oh, almost. Oh, this horse is just taking taking crossbow bolts like candy and is just ignoring them, apparently. Okay, well, nice headshot or neck shot. Apparently, I'm very good at neck shots. No! Did I literally get killed by a th thrust? Okay, yeah, I did get killed by a thrust. Okay, isn't that amazing? That always happens to me. Every single time. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know. You know, that's how it is. That is how it is. I am... Uh, I am forever cursed, you know. <laughs> I am forever cursed because I thought to myself, Oh, yes, we're actually going to do okay here because I have a crossbow, right? I have a crossbow. I have a mount. It's going to be very difficult to eliminate me. But no, this guy had a much better mount than I did. And as a result, he was able to have... Well, I think he had probably better riding skill, to be honest. That's probably the reason why he was able to eliminate us so easily in comparison. But um, yeah, okay, this is going to be another one of those, isn't it? I'm literally going to try and survive here because I'm going to get taken prisoner once again otherwise. Why did these guys not decide to go over the bridge, by the way? Do you see that? They literally went through the water instead. That is a bit of a weird decision to make. Ugh, can I please murder this guy? Please. Uh, oh, oh, nice, nice. Good. I actually hit him. I leveled up. Fantastic. I hit the horse. Okay, please don't hit me with that thrown weapon. Please don't hit me with that thrown weapon. Any of you, please don't hit me with your thrown weapons. <laughs> I am so incredibly low, I can basically die at any moment. Oh, I shot him in the chest just before he was about to murder me. That was great. Okay, I'm just gonna try. Nice! Oh, that was a wonderful sniper shot right there. Technically, it's not even a sniper shot, but I am very pleased with it, nevertheless. Okay, that guy has a shield. There is actually someone with a shield. They have a bunch of thrown weapons. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, these guys have thrown weapons. My horse is literally one of the worst horses that you can get. So, as you might expect, I am in a bit of a pickle at the moment. This is not particularly good. There's a nice kill, though. Okay, can I, can I do more? Oh, no, I hit the shield. Okay, that's not particularly good. Okay, I cannot afford, you see, I cannot afford to miss. Nice, there's a headshot. 
Oh, this is bad. Oh, no, 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 thank you. I would uh, very much appreciate, oh, I really wish I had some way of, you know, destroying their shield or something. But yes, as it stands, these early fights are always an uphill struggle. Okay. Really? Okay, never mind. I, I actually thought I was going to hit the guy right there. It seems like I might actually have to destroy their shield. Which might be possible. This is literally a thrusting only weapon. Yes, indeed. It is a thrusting only weapon. Okay, I might as well just resign right now. <laughs> oh no, thrust only weapons. You know me. Unless it's a spear and I'm on horseback. I might as well just not, you know. <laughs> yeah, those things are basically my bane. They are the bane of my existence, thrusting weapons. I can't allow these guys to get too close, you see. That is the main problem here. Nice. Okay, I got some damage. Very riskily, but I got some damage. Nice. Okay, we eliminated him. So that's basically what we've got to do. We've got to wait for the shield to lower. Oh, no, no. Ah, okay. Ooh, that was close. Okay. That was kind of close. Okay, that was apparently uh, completely useless. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go for the headshot. Okay, apparently the headshot is not going to work because apparently I'm just hitting their shield over and over again. Nice. Okay, there we go. In the shoulder? That didn't look like the shoulder to me, but oh well. Ah, okay. Got him. Whew. Okay. Now that was, that was, um, <laughs> that was, I mean, there's only five, there was only five enemies and yet I still, oh, okay. Yeah, that is, uh, that is pretty harsh. All right. Let's, um, let's take all of this stuff. I actually don't have enough capacity hilariously enough either, but, um, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to take it nevertheless. And I think I am, oh no. I'm going to have to do this. Forest bandits, especially 22 of them, are way too much for me to deal with at the moment. Even if I had units, you know. Even if I had units, I would not be able to deal with them in any way, which is uh, kind of disappointing, to be honest. That is kind of disappointing. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just going to trade everything that I have right here. Um... With the exception of the beer, I suppose. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why am I selling this? I need this. Oh, oh, wait, wait. What? Romans didn't wear braces. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks for that. I did not I did not see that. I did not see that I was actually wearing um, something there. Okay, well, that's that's good then. Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to sell everything instead, actually. And I'm just going to buy some grain, some cheap grain. Um, e oh, my capacity is exceeded. Okay, I'm going to have to buy nothing, apparently. Because um, I don't have enough space. Okay, there we go. That's going to have to be it. All right, so I now have 536 gold. There is a tournament going on here. You know, I could possibly win that tournament. I have not specced my points, by the way, either. By anyway, I don't even know why, to be honest. I have not specced this, but anyway, let's have a look. Aiming with your crossbow is 25% faster. Going to take that. Increase crossbow reload time by 25%. Yeah, definitely going to take that. Increase your maneuvering on your mount. That sounds really, really good. Um, let's have a look. What else do we have here? Increase your mount hit points by 20%. I'm going to be taking that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to increase our crossbow skill. Going to increase my control skill as much as I possibly can. Increase my vigor a little bit. Increase my pole arms. Increase my riding skill. Get some more endurance. I don't have too many attribute points, unfortunately, so I won't be able to really do too much there. But otherwise, we are then going to increase our charm skill, and that's it. There you go. Done. Boom. Easy. And now, I will hopefully... No, 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 sir. I do not want to speak to you. I would very much like to recruit these... Okay, apparently you recruited these units from this particular village. Ah, oh, well, never mind, never mind. Maybe I should spec into um, medicine as well at some point. There we go. My first proper unit. Well, I say my first proper unit, but we've had 
proper units before. Apparently, it's absolutely impossible to get um, <laughs> to get recruits for some reason. I don't know why I'm always so incredibly unlucky about finding recruits, but there's actually a band of looters here that I'd like to fight. I know, I know. This seems like such a... I, I don't even know. Such a waste of time to just fight some random looters after I won a battle against... I don't even know what they were. Were they actually looters? Or were they mountain bandits? No, I think they were mountain bandits before. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Why am I... Why am I changing... Why am I just charging straight on in? Okay, uh, you didn't see that? That was... Um, nothing... Nothing happened. Oh, that... There you go. You saw that. Yes, you absolutely saw that. You saw that one as well. Mmm, double headshot. Fantastic. Uh, my guy is going to get absolutely murdered, by the way. Which is actually really funny, by the way. I personally feel like... Um, thrusting weapons are really amusing to, uh, for the AI to use because they're not actually that good at using them either and if they only have thrusting weapons good luck getting them to get any kills <laughs> you know like, if there's a lot of them yeah if there's a lot of them then they might be able to do something but most of the time they're really really bad at using them almost as bad as I am but um, yeah that's something to bear in mind because that guy was, I think, up against two or three enemies. And yeah, while he was outnumbered, of course, I still think he probably wouldn't have been able to achieve victory. Because these guys are literally using clubs and swinging weapons. And generally, the AI is much better at using those. Nice. We've got 100 points in crossbow. Nice. Okay, Phew. we took out the guy with the shield. That is exactly what we wanted to do. And now a nice headshot. Oh no, not a nice headshot. Ah, never mind. A shoulder shot. Okay, I was very much hoping for that headshot. But never mind. There we go. Finished off with the neck. And there we have it. Okay, so we won the battle. Did he actually... Oh my. Are you serious? He literally died. Oh, I don't even know what's going on with these guys right now. They literally just do not care to live. They just don't want to live. They're just basically, you know, coming into my army and then being like, oh, okay, see ya. And then they're just dying almost immediately. I mean, that is to be expected, considering they're just by themselves, obviously. I mean, I'm not expecting them to really perform miracles here, but it's still rather amusing, to say the least. Anyway, I'm actually going to wait here for some time, because I would like to participate in the tournament if I can, because I think it would be quite amusing if I can achieve a victory. If I can achieve victory, then that is going to be an absolutely amazing boon to us. Maybe I'll be able to purchase a workshop or a caravan or something along those lines and give us a good head start on our, um, on our economy. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to purchase any of those things from just one tournament win, but it's a good step in the right direction. Okay, and I'm also going to give myself a little bit of a handicap here, so I'm not going to go in at full HP. I'm going to go in at 73%. There are two nobles. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh well, never mind. Uh, as I said, I was going to give myself a bit of a, um, a bit of a disadvantage here, and let's let's have a look. Okay, so I have a pole arm. This is actually not bad. Because I'm pretty, I'm going to I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm pretty decent with using a polearm when I'm on horseback. When I'm on horseback, I'm okay. But a thrusting weapon on foot, just, I mean, I might as well just say goodbye, you know. Nice. Good damage. Nice. Good damage. And maybe we can do some more. Uh, mm, yeah, mistimed. Okay, we've got to be very careful because pole arms, as you may or may not know, they are very quick, as you could no doubt tell from one of the previous, uh, one of the previous fights. They are very quick to eliminate you, even if they hit you in the leg. So that's definitely something to be a bit careful of. Oh, nice! Wow, I'm doing so much damage to these guys, but they are just living. They are just living through everything at the moment. Nice, that's a good kill. Okay, we took him off his mount. That means that our uh, friend can maybe do something. I'm trying to take out that guy's mount as well. Oh, no, no, no. It's just me and this guy. No. Oh, dear. Okay, this is bad. Where's the other fellow? He's coming. Okay, thankfully... Oh, dear.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is, this get, is this a thrusting only? No, it's thrusting only. Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, is this thrust only as well? I assume all of these are thrust only. So I'm going to literally just try to murder him with this. I am speechless. I have no idea how that even worked. Okay. Uh, that was luck. That was luck. I will be the first person to tell you that that was not skill. That was complete luck. And uh, <laughs> anyone that tells you otherwise, they are being very kind to me. Anyway, let's have a look here. Let me see. Okay, this is th this is thrusting only, right? Yep, this is indeed thrusting only. Oh, it actually does good damage. What? Okay, yeah, they've done a they've done their homework on this. The uh, the mod creators. They know they know how to make thrusting weapons. They've really done a good job. No, no, why are you both against me? Are you serious? Okay, yes, yes, murder, 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 murder from the back. Thank you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, okay, I might have changed my mind. I might have changed my mind about using Gladius, um, the, the, the Gladius sword. Uh, it seems pretty fun, actually. Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it seems pretty fun, and it seems to work really, really nicely on foot. And I'm very surprised, actually. I've got to say, I, I must say very good work by the modding team to make a thrusting weapon that actually works without any space between you or the opponent. It seems to just do damage in a similar way to a swinging weapon. And that's amazing. To have that actually be working properly, that is a, uh, a feat in itself, to be honest. All right, we've got some thrown weapons against us right here. Whoa, those are massive thrown weapons. Okay, I'm going to try and protect my, uh, my friend here. Okay, never mind. He doesn't need protecting, apparently. Okay, he literally just murdered everyone. Good work, sir. Good work. All right, so it's now me and my friend against each other. Okay, well, technically he's not my friend, but, you know, he helped me in the uh, previous rounds. Actually, he's he is the same guy that was with us from round two, hilariously enough. And maybe even from round one. Okay, do we have thrown weapons? Yes, we do. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 don't, 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 don't kill me just yet, sir. Okay, here we go. Die, you oh, I got him. I hit him for 132 in the face. I'm really surprised that that did not kill him, to be honest. All right, there we go. That is indeed a victory for us. I, I really cannot believe that I even achieved victory there, to be honest, because that literally was... That was just completely against me. Like, every single battle right there was just right up against me. Just no no possibility for me to achieve victory there. But apparently, we were able to do it, which is pretty crazy. Anyway, there we go. I'm just going to sell some stuff. And I believe we did get a... Um, yeah, we, we did get a, a small upgrade in terms of our helmets, which is quite nice. But yeah, I've completely changed my mind about the... Um, the thrusting only weapons. So generally, even if we uh, get dismounted or something like that, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. I can't wait, actually. Okay, so look at this. We've got a huge amount of perks to spend. So what are we going to do? I 30% uh, more likely to have children. That might actually be really, really useful considering my character is age 50 at the moment. So it might make sense for me to do that instead of gaining five influence by winning a tournament. So I'm actually going to take Virile here and we're going to go for some movement speed We're in the athletics tree. And mounted infantry, increase your party speed, increase your mount stop speed, or decrease accuracy penalty by 15% while you're mounted. Yeah, I'm going to probably be taking that because I'm going to be using my crossbow on horseback quite often. Decrease your crossbow movement uh, accuracy loss. Uh, probably going to go for accuracy. Increase the morale of each tier 1 to 3 troops by 10%. I don't know why that, why is that in the crossbow tree? I have no idea. Your ranged troops gain two experience every single day. Gonna go for that as well. 
And then one-handed weapons you will have their handling increased by 20%. That sounds pretty fun to me as well. Uh, let's see here. Increase your damage with pole arms while mounted. Yeah, because I'm mostly going to be using a pole arm while I'm on a horse. And pole arms that deal damage over 25% of the enemy cavalry's hit points have a 25% chance to dismount them. In my opinion, that is just so much better than the other option. And we're also going to be going for some focus points in one-handed. I know, I know. It kind of makes sense, right? Considering the gladius is such a fun weapon to use, and I never would have expected that in a million years. Because every single thrusting weapon that I've ever used in the history of me playing the Mountain Blade franchise, I've always thought to myself, oh, this would be so much better if... I was on a horse, for example, you know, in the case of spears. But, um, yeah, generally I have never had um, a particularly good time with those things. Anyway, I'm going to go over to this village real fast because I'm... <laughs> looters, stay away from me, looters. Okay, apparently we are going to be fighting them. It's not... I did not intend to fight these guys, to be fair. I really did not want to fight these guys, but they have forced my hand... Uh, stay back here, uh, person. I really do not want you to get murdered. No doubt he's... I mean, he is going to stay there, obviously, because he's going to, you know, do what I tell him to, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Nice. Nice uh, shoulder shot. I have got to be careful here as well, because here's the thing. Because we are playing on uh, such high damage modifiers so early on, I can basically be killed by anything. I can be killed by stones, I can be killed by a soft breeze... There's a lot of things that I can die from. Did they just kill my guy? Did they kill him? Oh, are you... Uh, God, that, you know, that grinds my gears. That really grinds my gears. Not the fact that he got eliminated, but the fact that he was killed. Actually killed. Rather than just being knocked unconscious or something like that. Because I have literally been looking around in every single village and obviously in Danustica itself, and I thought to myself, yes, I finally got someone, and then he dies. <laughs> oh, what a classic. Oh, you know what? I should have gone into the... Um... Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I bet he can't believe I missed that either. But, um, yes, anyway, I should have gone into the tavern. I should have gone into the tavern, because no doubt there's going to be a, a you know, possible companion there or something like that, and maybe that would make... A little bit more sense, but there you go. There's a victory for us. Still literally up against it. Really very much up against it. And I would love, as I say, I would love to be able to go to this um, this village over here. It would be fantastic if I could finally get to this village because it's going to enable me to hopefully buy a couple of horses at a reasonable price. And yes, indeed, look at that. This is a very reasonable price, and now we have over a thousand inventory capacity, which is perfect. And now I'm going to hopefully be able to buy a couple of extra horses. I'm going to I'm going to invest a little bit, not too much, but I'm going to invest a small amount, and hopefully that's going to help us to move just that much faster. And oh, look at this! I apparently oh yeah, I have an upgrade. Oh, that's actually hilarious that I have an upgrade uh, for my for my horse. So now I have a desert horse, which is obviously going to make. A, um, a big difference. But generally, here's uh, here's the other thing that I'm thinking about. I'm going to probably stay... Oh, are you serious? Uh, anyway, yes, as I said, I'm probably going to stay away from Sturgeon and Azurai territories. I don't think it's necessary, especially with the current goal that I have, for me to go into those places because it's... I mean, that they've not been changed yet in the mod, and uh, it would just be, in my opinion, not really worth it. So we're kind of just going to stick around 
the Imperium territory, Batania, Vlandia, I mean, previous Batania, previous Vlandia, you know, etc. And um, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to try to do. Anyway, this is going to be another one of those. It's going to be another one of those. Ah, I really wish I would not hit their shield all the time. Although hitting something would be good, wouldn't it? And there's another level of for us as well. We're slowly whittling them down at the moment. And uh, you can see here that my ammunition is starting to run dry. And obviously my health is also starting to do that a little bit too. Because we are taking a little damage here and there from their stone throwing antics. Nice. Okay, I really wanted to eliminate that guy because he had a helmet on and generally if... Someone has a helmet on. I think they're a little bit higher tier, even though they are basically the same unit. Okay, I've got one more. Nice. Whew. Okay. That was a bit too much for my liking, considering I had 40 bolts, and yet I was only able to eliminate 12 of them. But obviously, I am by myself. Do bear that in mind. I am solo at the moment, so... Generally, that is going to happen much more often than you'd, than you'd expect, where it takes way too long to win these kinds of battles. But hopefully, I'm going to be able to get back to Danustica without too many difficulties. And did I actually level up? Yeah, I leveled up three times, hilariously enough. Okay, we're going to go for some, some medicine here, finally. And then we're just also going to be uh, taking some perks. Increase range damage by 10%, increase mounted melee damage by 5%. I think range damage by 10% is probably going to be a little bit more useful. Increase stack size for quivers by 4, or your attacks ignore 10% of the enemy's armor. I think stack size is a little better for me. Doubles the interrupt threshold while you are reloading your crossbow, or equipped crossbows do not slow you down. I'm going to go for the do not slow you down thing. And otherwise, we are also going to be increasing my social by two and my intelligence by one. That sounds pretty good to me. All right, so I'm still running around with basically just me. And I would like to be able to gain some more units here. Ah, there we go. Finally, I have one extra person that I spent 200 gold on. No doubt in the first battle that we get into with him, he's going to die as well. Seems like we have a curse upon us. Somehow, not entirely sure how that's happening, but yeah, apparently it is. And still no units in Danustica. That is hilarious. I have no idea why that is happening either. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more from me and Eagle Rising, then by all means, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, otherwise, if you'd like to download the mod for yourself, there is a link in the description along with all the other mods that I'm using for this series and the load order in which I am using them. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.